I bring you refreshment, my friend. Let me swing this uh, thing out here a little bit and I'll cuddle in here. You wrote a song that the very first time I ever heard it on the radio when Frankie Valley sang it, I would have sworn it said something about Georgia. Now, I didn't know until you told me the story. I was close. It was close. It's Blue Eyes in Georgia, which later turned into My Eyes Adored You. You mean you wrote that song with different lyrics originally? Yes. It was G give me a sample. Here, let me hold this a second here. Give, give, what would it have been had it not been My Eyes Adored You? It would have been similar. It's, it would have been um, Blue Eyes in Georgia. They're the only eyes I've ever loved. My eyes in Georgia. I love it. Hey, that's fantastic. When you, when you became a record producer and composer for other people, was that a source of frustration? Is that why you began to do your own thing? Um, it wasn't frustration. Uh, I just love, I love doing everything I can do. Yeah. And uh, I really wanted to eventually get into singing. Did, no, I hear, I, I've heard more stories about this man. Did you do all the voices and the screaming and yelling on, on Monty Rock's discotheques, that, that Yaha crazy thing? All the high voices and all the, all the choruses on Get Dancing were me. Wait, give me a little sample. What, what yeah, was I'm your part in the back? I'm going to right out of here if I do that. <laughs> Just low key. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's enough, that's enough, that's enough. I know it. Henny, you tore up the joint and was going crazy with his furs and all right. of that nut, nuttiness. 